private school. My parents are not rich. I say this because sometimes think that when everyone goes to a private school that they're rich. That isn't true with us. My dad's a teacher and my mom's a social worker, which means they don't have those kinds of jobs where people make gazillions of dollars. We used to have a car, but we sold it when Jamie started kindergarten at Reacher Prep. We don't live in a big townhouse or one of those doorman buildings in the park. We live on the top of a five-story walk-up we rent it from an old lady called Danya Pierta on the other side of Broadway. That's code for a section of North River Heights where people don't really want to park their cars. Me and Jamie share a room. We overhear my parents talk about things like, can we do without air conditioner one more year? Maybe I can work two jobs this summer. So today at recess, I was hanging out with Julian and Henry and Miles. Julian, who everyone knows is rich, was like, I hate that I have to go back to Paris this Christmas. It's so boring. Dude, but like, it's Paris, I said like an idiot. Believe me, it's so boring, he said. My grandmother lives in this house in the middle of nowhere. It's like an hour away from Paris in this tiny, tiny village. I swear to God, nothing happens there. I mean, like, oh, wow, there's another fly on the wall. Look, there's a new dog sleeping on the sidewalk. Yippee. I laughed. Sometimes Julian could be very funny. Though my parents were talking about throwing a big party this year instead of going to Paris. I hope so. What are you doing over break, said Julian. Just hanging out, I said. You're so lucky, he said. I hope it snows again. I got this new sled and it's so amazing. I was going to tell them about lightning, but Miles started talking first. I got a new sled too. My dad got it from Ham Archer Slemmer. It's state of the art. How could a sled be state of the art, said Julian. It was like $800 or something. Whoa. We should all go sledding and have a race down Skeleton Hill, I said. That hill's lame, answered Julian. Are you kidding me, I said. Some kid broke his neck there. That's why it's called Skeleton Hill. Julian narrowed his eyes and looked at me as if I was the biggest moron in the world. It's called Skeleton Hill because it was an ancient air Indian burial ground, duh, he said. Anyway, it should be called Garbage Hill now because it's so freaking junky. Last time I was there, it was so gross with like soda cans and broken bottles and stuff. He shook his head. I left my old sled there, said Miles. It was the crappiest piece of junk and someone took it too. Maybe a hobo wanted to go sledding, laughed Julian. Where did you leave it, I asked. By a big rock at the bottom of the hill. I went back the next day and it was gone. I can't believe someone actually took it. Here's what we're going to do, said Julian. Next time it snows, my dad could drive us all to the golf course in Westchester that makes Skeleton Hill look like nothing. Hey, Jack, where are you going? I had started walking away. I've got to get a book out of my locker, I lied. I just wanted to get away from them fast. I didn't want anyone to know that I was the hobo who had taken the sled.